welcome to the disassembly guide for the Echo One 614. Although the 614 is essentially an M4, the takedown is slightly different. To start off, you will need a set of Allen wrenches, a knife, and two pairs of pliers. Next, you'll need your assorted screwdrivers. We'll begin by uninstalling the rail system. To do so, simply unscrew this screw. Now you can fold down the front sight and slide it right off. Now we're going to work on taking off the barrel. To do so, we're going to have to take off the wires that connect the battery to the gun. As you can see, I've already disconnected the first wire. To disconnect the wires, you're going to have to cut away the covering around the connectors. Make sure you cut lightly, as to not cut through the connector. Which shouldn't be a problem, because it would take a lot of force to cut through the connector. Now you can simply use your pliers to disconnect the wire. Once you've done this, all you have to do is unscrew this ring. Now you can pull the external barrel off the gun. Now you can push out these three body pins holding the body together. Simply take an allen key and push it out. Next, we'll take the upper receiver off the lower receiver. Simply wiggle it and pull up. It should come off. The barrel and hop up are now available for removal. Now that the upper part of the gun is disassembled, we'll begin on the lower part. We'll start on the crane stock. Simply push down on the lever and pull back. Next, we'll remove this cap from the buffer tube by unscrewing this screw. Now we can unscrew this screw and remove the buffer tube from the gun. Next, we'll work on removing the motor. Unscrew these two screws located on the bottom of the grip. The motor is now exposed. To take it out, simply remove these two wires connecting the motor to the gun and pull it right out. Underneath the motor, you'll find two more screws. Unscrew these screws, and then you can pull the pistol grip off of the gun. Lastly, we'll take off the mag release. Unscrew this screw. Underneath, you'll find a spring. Take the spring out, and the back piece should just fall right down. need to unscrew these two pieces above the mag well in order to remove the gearbox. First, unscrew the piece holding the wires in place. Now that you've done that, you can unscrew the other piece right above where the magazine feeds. Once these are removed, now you can remove the gearbox. To remove the gearbox, wiggle it back and forth and pull up in a diagonal direction. Be careful not to damage anything. From here on out, the gearbox is a standard version 2 gearbox, so you can refer to evike.com's guide by the Airsoft Reviewer 1 to disassemble the gearbox. Now on to the barrel extension installation. One of the main complaints about this gun is the problematic barrel extension. There's a lack of direction on how to exactly mount it on the gun. First, you'll have to drill out this small screw located on the side of the orange tip. Be careful not to drill too far into the barrel. Now that you've drilled out the screw, place a rag over the flash hider. This is because the flash hider is hot glued to the barrel, and you're going to need vice grips to twist it off. Firmly twist the flash hider to the left, and the glue should eventually give way. Once the glue gives out, you can simply twist off the flash hider. As you can see, the threads are covered in glue, which I would advise you to clean off. Now, you can simply screw on your barrel extension. One thing I would recommend purchasing along with this gun is an extra flash hider. If you plan on installing the barrel extension, expect that your flash hider's threads will be completely worn out in the process. This review is brought to you by e